What's up Kings fans, awesome win last night and De'Aaron Fox's return to the lineup, but perhaps my greatest takeaway from the game was the defense of Keegan Murray. Keegan has already shown massive growth on that side of the ball this season, but last night was one of the most impressive outings that I've ever seen from him. He had the Donovan Mitchell assignment throughout most of the night, and I went through and tracked the numbers from those possessions. I clocked Donovan at 4 of 12 shooting and a turnover on possessions when defended by Keegan. Those numbers in itself are extremely encouraging to look at, so I decided to go through and highlight what Keegan was exactly able to do last night. Keegan's biggest advantage when covering smaller and quicker guards like Donovan is going to be his length, as it allows him to kind of compensate for any potential quickness deficiencies that he may have guarding these smaller players. So even though Mitchell creates space here with his step back, Keegan can decelerate and propel himself off that back foot to get a good contest on the apex of that release. Stuff like this is super impressive, Keegan's that gap defender on the weak side here one pass away and he has to stunt with Darius Garland coming off a ball screen, but then he has to recover and close out back to his man. What's impressive here is how he can anticipate that drive from Mitchell. This is stampede action from the Cavs, which basically just means Donovan is going to be getting a full head of steam trying to attack downhill prior to receiving the ball. So Keegan's only hope at stopping that is going to be to anticipate the drive, which he does, funnels him into the help and forces a difficult shot. And this is awesome stuff too, a very long closeout from Keegan and his length probably discourages Mitchell to shoot this off the catch. Keegan stays low on that closeout and gives himself space, he doesn't bite on that shot fake, again funnels him into a difficult angle and uses his size to affect the shot. This play here is what I mean by how his length is able to compensate for him getting beat occasionally. Lavert gets by him and gets to the rim, but Keegan is still able to alter the shot from behind and saves a wide open basket. Just elite level activity throughout this entire possession. He really does a good job at applying some ball pressure and just making Donovan slightly uncomfortable. He sees Struess about to reset and kick it back out to Donovan, so he keeps his hands high in the passing lane to get a hand on it. Second defender comes and Keegan sees Struess pop back wide open on the perimeter for a moment and he anticipates that pass and gets another deflection. This here was probably Keegan's best possession of the night, absolutely incredible lateral movement sticking with Mitchell here. For one, the ball pressure, he's up into Mitchell on the catch, and he doesn't give him any space. He decelerates with Donovan on that snatchback, contains the initial drive, flips his hips, and I love how he uses that off arm early here. He's already in position to contest, even before Donovan elevates, and he never allows him to get a clean look at the basket, and Donovan can't even draw iron. Seamless switch here between Keegan and Herter, and excellent work containing that initial drive causes Struess to step back. He really gets another solid contest here, just a tough make from Struess that you'll have to live with. More good lateral movement here, Donovan wants to isolate, but Keegan slides with him and doesn't let him get downhill. He stays attached on the spin move and another great contest and forces a miss. The Cavs go to Spain action here with Keegan defending Donovan at the point of attack on top of the key. The Spain action forces a switch between Herder and Sabonis, so now Donovan is going to be looking to attack the basket with there being no big to protect the rim. At this point it becomes another switch between Herder and Keegan, but Keegan has to stay in the play to contain the roll man, and in the process he pokes the ball away from Mitchell who lost sight of Keegan on the spin. As always I appreciate you guys and thank you to everyone for sticking around and supporting the channel, and I'll see you all next time.